So, Sheldon, you and Dr. Sturgis figure out your math emergency? I'd rather not talk about it. Me neither. That's probably for me. I'm really getting popular. What's a math emergency? That's when things don't add up. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. That was a good one. Mom, it's Pastor Jeff. Mm, excuse me. To answer your question, Georgie, it's when a scientist is too immature to admit when he's wrong. Maybe you're too immature. Gentlemen, please. I'm sorry, but when someone with way less experience accuses me of not knowing what I'm talking about, my hackles are up. What's a hackle? Well, if he's wrong, then teach him to be right instead of berating him like a big old jackass. That's very hurtful. Well, how about that? That can run slower. Good news, I get to go visit a shut-in. What the hell is going on today? Hello? Mr. Guilford? Who are you? Sorry, sir, I didn't mean to interrupt. Hi, I'm Mary Cooper from the church. Pastor Jeff is out sick, so he asked me to bring over your dinner. Steak fingers? With extra gravy. Where's my Mr. Piff? Oh, right here. You want me to open it for you? I've got hands. Maybe while you eat, we could chat a little. I'm old, I'm alone, I'm going to die soon. There, we've chatted. Okay. If you're not in the mood for a conversation, maybe there's something else I could do for you. I haven't had a sponge bath in a while. Does Pastor Jeff give you a sponge bath? Sure does. Mr. Guilford. No. Lights out. In a minute. I may not understand exactly what's going on with you and Dr. Sturgis, but you can't be rude to an adult. What if they're wrong? Doesn't matter. There are plenty of stupid people in the world, but when they're older than you, you got to show them respect. I understand, sir. Thank you for your incredibly wise advice. Okay. Did you just call Dad stupid without calling him stupid? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>